press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi viewers, welcome back again to HVC Simplified, the online training channel. The today's topic of the day is HVC system, bill of quantities, cost estimate, procurement. In this video, I am going to explain to you how a bill of quantity of an HVAC work is taken, what are the requirements and what are the parameters to be considered while preparing a bill of quantities for a HVAC system. The download link of the Excel file will also will be provided in the description which you can use easily for your practice and learning purpose. So let us begin with the HVAC system bill of quantities. Here you can see an example of a bill of quantity for an HVAC work. So let us begin with the main items. The first thing is the item, description, unit, quantity, unit price and amount amount here is taken in aed which is arab emirates theorems this is from the sample of a united arab emirates project so here the amount is taken in arab emirates theorem main actual total the transaction cost the other cost the total of this both then the labor charges the other amounts total plus the labor over here then all these amounts all this accumulation will be calculated and then you will be provided with a unit price of an equipment or a bill of quantity of an equipment over here so for example if you can see for an HVAC work the major important parameter requires is a fresh air handling unit here we have taken the fresh air handling unit description the type of the unit what is the type of the unit this will be defined based on your specification based on your calculated capacity you have to derive here the for example it is known as a modular chiller fresh air handling unit with the thermal wheel horseshoe heat pipe cooling coil capacities the supply airflow the static pressure the external fan airflow the static pressure with controls to be connected to the BMS so a basic information has to be provided in this particular area which is the combination of your specification and the combination of your calculated capacity this is for the understanding of to be understood by the vendor to provide you a right equipment along with the boqs yes you have to attach your specific project specification to be it to, to be it totally described now for example if you can see the main actual total of a fresh air handling unit i have put here 400000 the transaction cost the total cost the labor charges and the other charges over here now for example if for a quantity number one because this is a main unit the big unit it is derived in numbers so number of quantity is one so if you change the number of quantity over here to two then the amount will be changed based on the calculated requirement now the same goes with the chill water fan coil unit with thermostat and spring isolator so here are two types of chill water fan coil units one is ducted unit and the other is known as decorative unit and based on the project requirement you will be calculating your quantity which is 502 and 12 over here the same goes uh, viewers the same goes with the same formulas and the same transaction goes depending on your the cost is defined based on your country based on your requirement so a price estimator or a cost estimator has to be involved or if you yourself is a cost estimator we know this particular cost by getting a quotations from the vendor of the project requirements so depending on your vendor vendor quotations you will be providing your cost here and you will be coming up with this type of quantities and the pricing of those equipments now for example here are the various examples such as chill water pump i will not take all the examples over here but for your understanding i will make and explain you few examples with different quantities and different units so here this is also a chill water pump and it quantity is measured in numbers and for example here the quantity of the chill water is three pumps for example if i change it to four this in the same way the, again the numbers will change 
Now let us go and check an example of a galvanized sheet rectangular duct. So rectangular duct basically is measured in square meters. So when you are measuring a rectangular duct in square meter, you have to change the type of unit over here. And then you have to maintain the type of thickness of the sheet. So these are the various types of thickness in mm. Galvanized sheets is also measured in gauges. I will mention the type of gauges with the galvanized sheet in a different video so for your better understanding. For here you are, can see that it has been measured in the mm the thickness of the galvanized sheet steel sheet for a rectangular ductwork. So for example a 0.56 mm sheet is calculated by square meter in 50 square meter and the unit price is calculated here is as 32. So based on this criteria, you will be getting your total unit price. So these are the various examples. If you can see exhaust air diffusers, supply linear slotted diffuser, return slotted diffusers. So for an HVAC engineer, you have to take all these capacities from your approved shop drawing or the approved design drawing. If you are taking these quantities are taken by an engineer or a designer and based on your drawing you have to get all the quantities now for example here if you can see the pipe insulation plus aluminum cladding is exposed pipes is measured in meters because it's a straight pipe it has to be measured in meters now these are the various examples the regulating walls strainer flexible connections air vents copper pipes refrigerating cylinder so all these are measured based on their required unit parameter in last you have to also consider the shop drawing material submittal operation and maintenance manual labels and identification maintenance for one year testing and communication project management so these are some miscellaneous items which has to be considered based on your project requirement and these values cannot be measured in an actual unit so therefore it is called an ls or a lump sum item so by calculating all these particular items you will derive a total bill of quantity for an hvac work now for example as an engineer or as a bill of quantity estimator or as a procurement engineer you have to consider some amount of safety factor while preparing a bill of quantity so depending on based on your experience or based on your initial assessment you can keep the safety factor to same one as a same one to one is to one percent or you can add it as a 10 10 percent of safety factor to the total bill of quantities or 10 to 15 percent based on the requirement or the project requirement so this is how a, a simple sample there are various other excel sheet which are co complicated and what what i mean by complicated is in a precise way to be done in a more professional manner this is just an example for your understanding as a basic hvc engineer or a basic hvc bill of quantity engineer to understand how a basic POQ is taken for an HVAC work. Thank you very much viewers. Thanks for watching HVAC Simplified.